Well, what a race in prospect now. The final of the women's 100 metres, T44. Pitting together one of the great names of Paris sport from the Netherlands, Marlou van Rijn, against one of the great French stars, Marie Amelie Lefer. to head for the second time this week than Ryan having won on the 200 meters. Next on track, the women's 100 meters for T44 final. Paralympic Games champion for London 2012, Van Ryan, who has won the world and European titles in the past two years. They won their respective semi-finals. The legs are affected by amputation. Comparable Ryan, the T43, the world record holder, set the new mark in 2015. Ryan will be breaking the world record for the T43. T44, marginally outside the world record. It's been a great year for the Dutch here, Fleur Young, picking up a bronze medal in the two. She could be a good candidate for a medal as well. And uh, Sophie Kamlisch was leading for a lot of the semi final until Van Rijn overtook. She missed out, London 2012, so Fleur Young, world championship debut, the 19-year-old, bronze in the 200 metres, April Holmes, the former Paralympic Games champion from 2008 in Beijing, April Holmes still holds the T44 world record. The second Dutch entrant in this final, Silver the long jump, Elena van Ganswinkel. Marie-Amelie Lefer, the Paralympic champion, gold the Phil Hundred at the long jump this week, and still a fantastically popular athlete, reigning Paralympic champion and won the four the Europeans last year. Sophie Kaplish, bronze of the last worlds in the 200, fourth in the 100. Almost beat Van Ryan, and there she is in lane six. She's done the sprint double at the last Worlds and Europeans. Can she do it again here? World and European champion. Trinidad and Tobago in lane seven. Moesha K. Lifetime best this year in lane eight. From Toronto for Canada, Marissa Papa Constantino. We saw the fur there just taking off her leg before the race. I can tell you what she was doing because she was drying off the, the skin. It's very hot here in Doha, very humid, and there may have been a lot of sweat in there, so she's just cleaning it off so that it will stick better when she's running. So much riding on this, one of the big races of the week. The final of the women's 100 meters T44. Yong in one, Holmes in two, Van Ganselwinkel three, Lefer four, Kamlish five, then Ryan six, Kane seven, Papa Constantino in lane eight. But at lanes four and six, have the strongest focus between them. Currently hold the three major titles. We're away, what a start by Lafran. And also Camus alongside her in five. Here she comes, Van Rijn. It's Lafran still leading, 50 to go. It's Lafran. That's a championship record for T44 for her. And it's silver. The Ganselwinkel in fourth place for the Netherlands. But what an astonishing performance again by Marlo van Rijn. What an athlete. 
What a win. It's a great rivalry. It's a brilliant friendship as well, as we'll see. But Lafer is second place for her. And it is gold for Van Ryan. Emily, how many yeah, Lafer there, very calm at the start, waiting till she was ready and then putting her hand behind the line just to make sure she was 100% ready to go. And there you see that flying start. I thought she had it after that amazing start she had. She came out of the blocks like a bullet. Van Ryan, you can see, is already two or three metres behind, but already coming through and just comes through over the top with the traditional long wind-up of the double amputees. Malu Van Ryan hit the front with around 15 to go. She wouldn't let up. Didn't ease up over the line. A new world record. It was the big head-to-head -head of the day. Probably of the week. World record for Van Rijn, 12.80. Championship record also for Lafer in second place. And Noisha Kane was able to win bronze for Trinidad and Tobago, a lifetime best.